Leuk dat je kijkt. In deze video wil ik het graag met je hebben over de adoptie van bitcoin. Uh, we zien natuurlijk bedrijven, banken, instituten bitcoin omarmen en dus waar in investeren. Maar uiteraard ook de celebrities die investeren meer en meer in bitcoin. Uh, het laatste geval wat mij bekend is, is Mariah Carey. En zojuist kwam ik tot de conclusie dat voetballer Ryan Babel ook investeert in bitcoin. En dat doet hij al vanaf 2017 en in eerste instantie was het een gokje. <tied> Um, I was uh, kind of introduced the very first time uh, in Bitcoin in 2017. Um, I am, uh, you know, I'm running a music company and uh, one of my artists was like, yeah, you know, my friend uh, said you, you should uh, buy Bitcoin. Is this next thing that will, you know, make you a lot of money? And, you know, at that point, um, of course, um, you know, those type of people who, who approach you for the best and the next great idea to invest in. And then sometimes you run with it and then obviously you lose money. So this was one of those times where I felt again, like ugh, whatever, you know? Um, and then, um, you know, he kept pushing, he kept pushing, like, listen, you know, it, Bitcoin went up and I had no idea what it was. And then um, all of a sudden I read something in, um, in, in uh, mainstream media. And um, I was like, you know what? Um, let me let me just give it a try. You know, it was actually from my part just a gamble. You know, and uh, I acquired some some Bitcoin, and then Bitcoin crashed. You know, it, it crashed big time. And 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 that point, I realized like, see, gambling and and investing in something I don't know is is never for me. So I will never do it again. Um, Luckily, the smartest thing that I ever did was um, not selling it. I was just leaving it. Um, and then um, uh, also, yeah, you know, I was lucky enough to uh, save my keys and, and my, my ledger uh, in, a, in, a, in a secure place, uh, unintentionally, to be honest. And then, um, yeah, as of, uh, you know, 2020, um, all of a sudden I... I spontaneously read an article that bitcoin was at its all-time high from back in 2000 uh i think 17 or 18 you know uh, over 20,000, and that made me uh curious like why did it come back and 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 that's where i um you know took responsibility to to dive into the rabbit hole and try to find out what re bitcoin really was and you know, the journey so far is amazing. Uh, you know, the education and everything that you learn is uh, very fascinating. Um, but of course, you know, uh, at the end of the day, if you know what you invest into, then, you know, you feel way more comfortable. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at today. Ik zelf vind het heel verfrissend om een voetballer in de crypto space te zien en dan ook nog een keer in Bitcoin. Uh, Tevens krijg ik daar dan ook een, gelijk een groot vraagteken bij van oké, okay, wacht even, rij in Babel. Wel, welke voetballers zijn er dan nog meer geïnvesteerd in bitcoin of in cryptocurrencies in zijn algemeenheid? Die vraag leg ik bij jou neer. Weet jij welke voetballers of voetballer er geïnvesteerd zit in bitcoin en of cryptocurrencies? Laat dat weten in de commentsectie. Uh, het volledige interview met uh, Rijn Babel kun je terugvinden ook onder deze video. De link staat erin. Er is mij nu niks anders dan je te bedanken voor het kijken. Vergeet niet te abonneren en te liken. Tot de volgende video.